Greetings, salutations, YouTube. It's Adrian here. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to another edition of Goodwill Hunting, where we go to various Goodwills and see what treasures we can find. Today, I am at the Goodwill, and I'm hoping to find something good. And if you guys would like to see more of my thrifting videos, just hit the little eye right there. The window will pop out, and you can select the playlist there for my other thrifting videos, haul videos, handbag rehabs, and vlogs. And if you would like to have it done so already, don't forget to add me on Instagram and Facebook. It's Adrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop at itshadrian.com to check out what I have for sale for my thrifting adventures. But without further ado, let's go into the store and see what we can find. I'm hoping to find some good stuff. I'm really excited, let's go in. Okay guys, I'm looking at the handbags. I found this super cute bag, and it's Triste. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think these bags sell pretty well. And this one is $7.99, and it's in really good condition. Kind of looks like um, the, what's it called? The Prada Ruched Satchel bag, so. This is really cute, and it's all leather too. And I'm checking out what else is here. What is that? Oh, it's a little Roxy bag. They have a lot, lot, lot of, um, oh look, it's a plastic Birkin. How cute is this? Oh, and it's in sky blue, and it's in fairly good condition. It's only $7, and it's huge. Sold. That's really, really cute. And then, oh, this is actually a pretty cute satchel, but I'm pretty sure it's just pleather. Yeah, Seska. Seska, London, New York. What is this? It's like a little, maybe a fossil or something? No. Hillard Hansen. Oh, look at this. This is a cute B. Mikowski, only $4.99. Done. What is this like flat bag? Nothing. Some pleather, pleather. Oh, I remember this bag. This is like a fossil. I've been seeing this like numerous times. Yeah, fossil. And it's $5.99. I think I'm still gonna pass on it, unless not it's not on sale right now. What's this skinny bag back there? What is this? Interesting looking bag. What is this guy? Oh, this is an MZ Wallace. No way. MZ Wallace bags are awesome. This is only $7.99. Oh, I'm just gonna fix the edge coating and this bag is gonna shine. I'm so excited. There's so many good bags here today. Oh my gosh. Nine West. This is actually really cute, but I'm pretty sure this is like Marona or something. No, Massimo. Pretty much the same thing to both of them. Target. This Kenneth Cole bag is actually pretty cute. Super faded though, but cute. And there's this like should not reissue lookalike bag. Pleather though. What's this down here, I guess. Look at this little coach. It's so dirty though. $4.99. It's fabric. No, I don't think I'm gonna get that. Leather. Checking out these bags down here, like Liz Claiborne. What is this? Is this all oh, excess? Leather. Barrow tree. Huh. I just found some super cute Rebecca Minkoff shoes. And they're only seven bucks. Alright you guys, now I'm going through the backpack section. Let's see if I can find any cool bags. There's this super cute J. Crew bag right here. The stitching is coming out though on this, but that's easy enough to fix. But $7.99, it's really cute, it's canvas. All canvas. And then I thought this was a fossil, but it's a Nine West bag with Claiborne. St. John's Bay. So I'm just looking through these right here and see if there's anything exciting. Pretty sure that's pleather. 
now just looking through these handbags right here Jessica Simpson this actually looks like a coach and it is but it's $20 why would I want that I actually found that same exact bag but it's too expensive I think I only sold it for about $20 it's good though for anyone that wants to just keep it. That's a good price. I like that like texture on there, but uh oh, someone broke something. Tommy Hill figure. Now I'm looking through the plates. I haven't bought very many plates recently. I think I'm being a lot more picky. This is actually really cute. I'll use it for like a pot for plants. But $2.99 is a little expensive for it. I must say, even though there's two. Ugh, I wish that they, these are actually really cute, like for herbs or something. Just have two of these. That's really, really, really cute, but expensive. 99 cents, definitely the price for that. Unfortunately, they're not 99 cents, so I'm not gonna purchase them. See you guys, I'm like being really strong right now. Like all the strength I'm exhibiting by not purchasing those. It's like amazing, Ikea. Still on the hunt for more white pottery barn plates, and I will find them. I know it. Oh, what are these? Boston Warehouse. Oh, how cute are those, though? I'm on the hunt for, um, I found one Lake Rousset mug, and now I'm, like, hooked, and I need to find more. Do you think I'll find any? I almost bamboozled myself because... The Lake Rousset cups look very similar to that shape and style. Oh, they still have that really cute giraffe mug here. Tom's Diner. Strawberry Street. Still don't see any. Alright, looking through the vases. Um, nothing really jumping out at me. Bakeware. Cookware. Don't spot any Lake Crusade Pampered Chef. I feel like that's all I ever talk about when I'm in the bakeware and cookware. <laughs> oh, they have like a wine opener? Fancy. I'm like on the hunt for really cool watering cans still. This is so cute. Um, they had them here, and they were, like, that large, they had, like, a large one in white from Target, but they were so expensive, but they're already long gone, so, I don't see them anywhere anymore. Oh, there's a silver one! Ooh, $9.99, expensive, I wish it was gold. I know they came in, like, brass or copper or something. I would pay ten dollars for that, for like exactly what I want. But if I'm gonna get something like cheaper, I'd want it to be less, maybe like five bucks. Let's keep hunting though. I just bought it, this little brass duck, so cute, three ninety nine. I don't think he's brass. He's probably copper though, huh? I've been looking for something like this for a while. I don't know, two ninety nine for one. The pair is gonna be six bucks. Is this like the right size? Okay, I was just trying this thing on the shoe and it looks like it's torn right there. So I'm definitely not gonna be getting it. I have no way for knowing how to repair something like that. And it looks like it might have been like sewn back and then it like broke off again. So I'm gonna say no to it. This clock is so cute. Now I'm just taking a look through the knickknacks. Oh, the knickknacks are really standing out though for me right now. Alright guys, 
just at the store. I got some really good stuff. So hey guys, okay, so I'm back at the house and I am ready to show you guys what I got. So I'm really excited to share um, my little finds with you guys today. Um, so I'm gonna start off with the items that aren't like handbags because I always save those for last because they're my favorite. Um, but it's really funny. I found this like it was just like it's a like a foxtail and I'm pretty sure that it's a real fox. Um, and it was kind of just like sitting in the case next to the next thing I'm going to show you. So I was really excited for it. I think they just put it out. Um, and I don't know. I thought it was really cool. They gave it to me for 99 cents. So I was really excited for that. And you know how like it's like kind of cool or trendy to like have foxtails like on your handbag or your keys or hang off your pants. I don't know. Um, but I thought it was just really cool and it's so soft. So I had to get it. You know, I have, like, an obsession with fur, so, yay. So there's that. Then the next thing, this is what it was next to, was this iPad Pro Smart Cover. And it was a little pricey at $15, but these cases, or these covers are really expensive. And I've been wanting to, like, actually take this out and put it on my iPad for quite some time. Right now I have um, this case, which is a really, really nice one. But it adds a lot of weight onto the iPad itself, and the um, the top cover that folds over the iPad, it's uh, like the actual iPad, is not magnetic. So when I open and close the top, it doesn't actually turn on or off the iPad, which is kind of what I wanted. Um, so I'm actually gonna put this on right now with you guys. So bear it with me because I'm super excited for this and I have just been wanting. Now I just need to find um, one of the Apple backs for the case and then I'll be good to go. But like this is like so satisfying is like clicking this on. Whoop. And yes! So there you go. Now it just turns on and off. So cool. I'm really excited. Now I just need the back because I don't want this to get scratched up. But... I am very, very excited. I can probably just find like a cheapy one on Amazon. It doesn't need to be the official um, cover, just as long as it will accommodate for the case that goes on front. I'm gonna be a happy camper. Now this already feels a lot lighter, a lot nicer. So I'm really, really excited. Plus I love how like this folds. Anyway, I'm just like nerding out right now with gadgets and all that stuff. But $15 I don't think was too bad. Um, I think I got this one for $10, which is really nice. Like, the leather is really nice. But I don't really like how it... Eh, I'm not even... This is turning into, like, a weird review for <laughs> something you guys don't really care about. So, there's that. $15. I thought that was a really good deal. These, I think, go for, like, maybe 40 or 60 something like that. It's not the leather one, but it's the, um, like, the plastic rubber one, which is actually what I prefer. All right. So, now on to the handbags. Um, the first item I have here is this really, really cute little B. Mikowski crossbody bag. I thought this was one of the cutest little bags that I found. This one was only $5. It was $4.99. And it's in really good condition. It has a great strap that's adjustable. And then this opens up really nicely. And for a small bag, this packs a punch. It holds a lot. And the leather is nice and soft. And I have an obsession with this golden brown leather. So anything like golden brown like this, I'm like, a, a, like instantly obsessed with. And this is just a cute little crossbody bag. And you can put your phone in the back right here, too. Will it fit an iPhone 7? I don't know. I've never taken this test to see. So, let's see. Oh, look at that. It fits perfectly. That's so cute. Okay, so that works. Really excited for that. So, there's that cute little B. Mikowski. Then, the next bag we have here. Now, this one... Um, I had to do a little research on, but the brand is called Trezige. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, this guy was $7.99, and it's, like, a great, like, um, it's not gold, it's, like, a silver, an aged silver, uh, it's, like, a dark silver, almost gunmetal color, and it's really cute. It has, like, the ruching on the front for the buckles, reminds me of, um, like, a Mew Mew, bag or a Prada um, and I've even seen a Burberry that's very similar to this 
So really cute, crossbody strap, top handle, the interior zips, and there's like lots of nice, great pockets and all that. And the this look, the little grommet right here has come out, but that's an easy fix. You just need to hammer it back in. And again, this guy was only seven dollars ninety nine cents. So I thought that was a pretty good price for that. Then I love finding these bags at the Goodwill, and it is a like a jelly Birkin. Now this one was eight dollars, I believe, seven ninety nine. Yeah, this one was eight bucks. And Jelly Birkin, this one is great. You can actually fit it on your shoulder. Perfect for the beach, um, going to the park, carry food in here. Um, this one's actually in pretty good condition. This is probably one of the best, like one, like the best conditions that I've ever seen. Um, doesn't have the lock, but everything else works perfectly. It still has the little thing with the key. Um, you can definitely just replace it with any other um, cheap. Like you can go to like Daiso or the 99 cent store and replace the lock. And if you want, like, if you wanted. But, yeah, it's in pretty good condition. There's a little bit of staining. I'm going to try to get it out. It's pretty much just on the bottom of the bag where you're never really ever going to see it. And, yeah, it's so, so cute. It's a light sky blue. It's really pretty. And I actually really like it. So, there's that. So cute. Then I have one last item to share with you guys. And it's probably my favorite item that I found um, at the store, and it is this great MZ Wallace. I love MZ Wallace bags. They're made so beautifully, and this one is one of the fabric and leather combination bags. Um, it has the leather strap, it has little beautiful leather tassels, and there's like leather trim throughout, and the rest is like a great nylon. It's very sturdy, lightweight, and beautiful. And it has two front pockets, a back pocket, and then the main compartment, which opens up. And then it has a zippered pocket right there, and then two front pockets, and yeah. And the interior is like a nice, like, gold, shiny gold color. I cannot angle myself properly. And I just think it's really, really cute. And it's in really great condition. Just needs a tiny, tiny bit of cleaning. But other than that, I think it's really good to go. Um, some of the edge coating might need a little bit of a touch-up, but other than that, excellent. Now, this bag was only... $7.99. So, this one was a great value as well. So, that rounds out today's haul. Hope you guys had fun thrifting with me and checking out what I found. If you guys did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Um, I've been trying to do the thrifting and then the um, hauls at the end. A lot of you guys have liked that. So, I am, uh, a lot of my videos, I've been trying to kind of do that and um, just including everything into one video. So if you guys are liking that, please give this video a big thumbs up and let me know down, let me know down in the comments below as well because it totally helps me um, create content that you guys like. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll be updated when I do post a new video. And I do post videos every single day at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I will surely see you guys again tomorrow. Love you guys, bye. Check it out.